decked out in Raflos armor and wielding a great sword, dual blades, and bow, Monster Hunter is ready to tackle her most challenging prey yet. A slow downward strike with incredible range. If you perfectly charge and release the armored heavy version, it'll hit for a bone shattering 3000 damage. A multi hitting dual blade assault. The heavy version can be performed very low to the ground. This is the powered up version of the Demon Flurry. It does more damage, recovers faster, and the heavy version causes a wall bounce. A slow projectile that can be charged to unleash three arrows simultaneously. After landing a launcher, you have enough time to charge and combo this upward bow shot. Going all in with her greatsword, it's unsurprising that this is Monster Hunter's most damaging level 1 hyper combo. This can be used both grounded and airborne, unleashing a flurry of slashes before putting Monster Hunter into a temporarily powered up state. This hyper combo has a lot of startup and recovery, so it's best used to pin the opponent down before tagging in your other character for a mix-up opportunity. Invincible to seemingly everything on startup, this level 3 hyper combo is both the ultimate hard read and combo ender. Monster Hunter's regular dodge can cancel the recovery frames of certain moves. The powered up demon dodge lets her dash past the opponent and functions as a strong mix-up tool. So, you want to give this character a try? Here's one basic and one advanced combo to get you started. Offset her easy access to big damage, Monster Hunter is relatively weak on defense. This makes the Soul Stone a good option as it gives her more survivability. Thanks for watching this tutorial video for Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite.